what is happening what is going on welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you are new here what i'm going to do in this video i'm just going to give you some blender tips to instantly improve your renders take it to the next level these might be a little bit unconventional but yeah uh, hopefully you enjoy it some of them will be conventional obviously because convention is cool so first thing i'm gonna do is open up a scene yeah i've got this scene going so if i go here and i click on the camera i spoke a bit about this earlier so you can see pretty basic scene nothing too special you might recognize this if you watched the previous video but what i'm going to do in this video what i'm going to do here is show you so we've got a scene here let's say i want to render this image and it doesn't look too bad but you want to take it to the next level let's move it to something like this and this looks pretty pretty cool just click on my camera control alt zero and this looks a little bit better now you want to make this look a little bit better just click on your camera and we want to use depth of field if i click this look how nice it looks really it makes you it makes it look like you've taken the photo with a camera or the render with a camera you can see if i turn this off everything is in focus and it gives you that nice just makes it look a little bit better yeah you can see you can bring this if you bring this to a higher number like i explained in the depth of field video the blurriness goes away if you bring it to something like 2.5 you can see you get a nice bit of depth of field there and it will just improve these kind of renders so yeah that's tip number one number two is actually not in blender it's the same as plug i've got a preset pack so if you lose lightroom to edit your photos you can see yeah uh, if i do this you can see these are renders i've done and if i go like this you can see this is a before this is an after okay go to the next one you can see before and after and then you can see the difference here so you can do this in the compositing tab you can do this in the compositing shader as well but yeah i've created presets feel free to check it out and yeah this is how it comes out of blender you can see it's pretty okay and then i just improve the colors like this and i think this looks a lot better so you can see the difference so this is another way to improve your renders pretty much instantly with like one click so feel free to check it out so another way to improve your renders if i just click here you can see what a scene here pretty pretty easy scene i created using for a video where i just use blender kit to create everything so this everything in this scene is being used just using blender kit feel free to check it out link in the description but if i go to camera as a photographer you want to this is obviously not the best composition so what you can do if you know photography you get like the rule of thirds so these blocks and if you've got an iphone you know those grid that you get just to use some of the photography composition rules you can turn this on so this will increase this will help you get a good render so you just click on your viewport display composition guides and you can get thirds center and then you just click here and this will come up so you can see here i'm just going to do this so you can see and you can see you get those nice lines it just helps you line up your scene so you could click here click on your camera go control alt zero and you got those lines obviously i wouldn't use something like this but yeah this is another way make sure you're using the rule of thirds if you want to learn a bit more about it just type in google rule of thirds and it will explain to you a little bit about some photography guidelines just to make your your renders look a lot better because if i go to somewhere like this go back to our lake scene and let's go here i'm just gonna hide this cube so yeah and we're in this kind of scene i'm just gonna go to cycles and you can see this is like this but now let me show you something so if i click on the camera and i rotate it like that this doesn't look good it looks weird because you want one of the photography rules is you want your horizon line to be horizontal so just go back here and now it's nice and straight so these are some of the photography rules i think it's a good thing to maybe google them learn a little bit about them this will improve your renders and it will just improve your 3d work in general in my opinion i think it's 
good to have that photography background i do and it's helped me a lot in blender so that's another trick to improve your renders instantly just know the rule of thirds rule the all the photography rules and yeah you don't have to stick to them but it's good to know them the next tip i'm just going to open up another scene here what you want is lighting so if i go here i'll explain a little bit about it we've got a lighting scene here so if i so if i've lit the scene i think this looks very very well lit it's got that nice cinematic kind of lighting you can change it you could bring in another light like this but i think it's a bit bright with that light but let me just show you so if i do this this is a scene like this if i hide this light this one okay everything is dark but let's say i now bring in the hdri so i'm going to bring in the hdri got acid browser and i'm going to just throw on that look at the difference even if you throw on another hdri see the yeah very very yeah everything is lit but in my opinion it's not it's not as well lit as something like this so if i bring this back i think this is well lit and it's yeah gives you those nice shadows like i said you can add another light here and make it look a lot better but lighting is very very crucial uh, to improving your 3d renders you can always like i said throw this on but then it looks washed out it doesn't look good so this in my opinion looks good obviously for renders like i go here so i'm going to use this scene again and you can see i've got a hdri now obviously this hdri is looking good if i use a different hdri so if i go to world i've got this one so if you bring it up to one that's also looking good but you want something like that looks good looks a little bit more moody but obviously you won't use for a, a an outdoor scene you won't use just one area light like we did for the previous like i showed you for the previous render the one with that cool looking 3d guy character but you want an hdr so that's what i mean by your lighting is pretty pretty crucial because if i turn this off and let me go to cycles so we've got everything dark now and you can see everything is dark if i just go shift a get a light and just get an area light like we did for the previous one and let's go here and then go g bring it all the way up something like that and then just go s scale it up go to camera camera and let's have a look now and then hide this and let's bring this light power to like you can see how terrible that looks even if i bring it to like 500 so you can see you need an hdri you know if i'm hopefully i'm making sense because this is what i mean by lighting you need to choose the right lights for the right kind of scenes basically and yeah for this kind of scene an area light won't work you'll need an hdri but for the previous render your hdri won't work you need an area light so yeah just understanding what different scenes are and how to use different lighting is very very crucial and the last one i'm just going to bring in another scene and just to explain to you let's use let's use this scene here okay i've got a scene going here and this looks pretty cool and now what i mean by apply proper scaling using proper scaling you can see the man in the trees it looks i wouldn't say it's perfectly scaled this is a quick render just to explain a little bit about ray tracing in eevee so i didn't really focus too much on the scaling so i can notice a little bit of that scaling is a little bit off but if i click on the model and i go s and i scale him up like this and now you can see the trees are way too small compared to the man or the man is way too big for the trees either or the scaling is off and this won't look good as a render it's it's obvious that that the terror is that the scaling is off and that's not what you want you want the scale to be as realistic as possible sometimes you can't get it perfect but you need to pay close attention to the scaling of your scenes of your objects in your scenes and that will improve your renders instantly it will make them look a lot more realistic it will make them look a lot better so yeah hopefully hopefully you learned something in this video hopefully you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe check out blender kit check out my patreon and yeah hopefully you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video peace